Hi there. Looks like we have a screen door tear. So job one is going to be to take the door out. We're using a couple of prying tools useful for car panels to retract the wheels and then we'll slip the door out of its channel. So set the screen on a big table. In this case we're using saw horses, checking to see how much screening we actually need. 35 by 76. This will be just a little bit more than enough. We bought extra strength to make it last. And you're also going to need a screening tool. These have different wheels on each side. Convex side for putting the screening itself into the channel. Concave for rolling the spline into the channel. Convex, concave. Okay, now we need to find out what size spline we need. The best way may be to take out the old spline, measure it, and then procure suitable replacement size. It does come in a number of different diameter sizes. Now looking at the spline that's in here, it's 0 0.180. I didn't find 0 0.180, but 0 0.175 should be just fine. Now we're going to put this new screening in place as we prepare to spline it. And it won't sit still. I found a few uh, well-placed pieces of electrical tape will hold it for temporarily until we can get the spline in there. It doesn't matter where you start, we're just going to go to the same corner the old spline was started in. And we're using the concave end of the spline tool to push the spline into the channel. I'm finding this pretty hard to push into the, into the slot, so I'm warming it up to soften it with a blow dryer. And it does seem to help a little. Yeah, this is a slow, tedious process. I think you get the idea. Just be careful. You want to make sure you don't slip the wheel off and damage your new, um, your new screening. Working it around the corner. Okay, let's, uh, let's do the magic of video. Speed this up. Now there's some sag in a screen this size, so as we get to the last two sides, we're using some strips of wood and some clamps uh, to pull it taut and hold it in place uh, before we get the spline in those last two channels. Although I'm speeding this up, maybe I'm still showing a little too much splining, but frankly the splining is the job. We're on the home lap now, the final lap, and we're not going to worry about uh, holding that in place anymore uh, with the wood. It's already pulled taut.
nice and tight. Splining complete. Final screening job is to cut off the excess. I found a long X-Acto knife uh, blade works really good on this. Really simple job, just make sure you don't put any holes in your brand new screen. By the door handle in close quarters, you take extra, take extra care. I used a shorter knife so I had better control over it here. I'm being, I'm being rather careful here. I did once slip with my knife in a spot like this on a previous job and uh, nicked the screen. And that kind of sucks. I save small pieces of screening like this. You, know, you can find uses for them, uh, especially in the garden. I've used them several times to help support plants. And that completes the screening process. No good, so I'm gonna replace that. Just a couple screws here. That tube there that sits in the middle that I'm putting the screw in right now is how you adjust the height of the door. And for now we're going to put it in the middle position. We'll make the final adjustment once the door is in place. And if you put it all the way down you get the max height. Just kind of showing you that. And we don't want it there right now so we're going to put it back to the middle. Now line everything up and screw it in. Now make sure the wheels are riding on the rail. A derailment could get ugly. It's okay. It's not rolling freely enough. I'm just adjusting it so it appears level and rides smoothly. I could put a level on this, it's kind of like me, but nah, not this time. That's rolling much nicer now. Thanks for watching, and I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe.